saved when I get out of here I can set a material to it right here like this thing that was annoying okay let's bring this in yeah I thought it clicked twice after that here it clicks Okay, I don't know if it got that. Let's go to grid. That's the one we're trying to edit. Let's get this other one out of here. Grid. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's use a material. Let's use uh, one of these guys' materials. Okay, we're going to use brick. Okay, so there's the brick. Um, I can go ahead and reset it. Reset to the base material. I don't want that anymore. I want to go back to UE4's materials. Ooh, overridden. Now it's my base materials. So that is the base material. Um, I don't know if that's causing a problem. Because, like I said, my base material is different than their base material. Which I can uh, navigate to here, I believe. I found their base material before. Yeah, it's world grid material. I can actually navigate to that in the browser content too. And I. Oh no, but you know what? See, you're actually using um, basic shape material, but that's actually placed on top of world grid material which is the base material it's not placed on top of it but it is this is the base material for the static measures that we're all using I believe is what I was taught um, let's see if we can find the other one let's see if we can't find material and it is a parameter so that is a constant vector 3 parameter I figured out and that's what it was I was trying to tell you about the vector ones it's just called a single constant you know you know that it's, it's a constant so it's you know it's a number um, constant vector 2 constant vector 3 all that stuff so but this you can tell they have an extra uh, constant here here's a constant and this is a single constant because it just has one value and they have that in their roughness and they have a parameter value in the base color just like my clear material now uh, let's go back to clear color I made. Uh, it's the same. It's just got a constant, but mine's an opacity. Um, maybe that's a problem too, you know, but m my base color is just a, a constant vector 3 parameter. And uh, so is theirs. Mine I'll say 0 because I don't have a color on mine. Maybe that's a problem. Maybe because my clear is colorless. Let's just test it real quick and see if this whole video is for nothing. Okay, let's try applying it.
to a color when it doesn't want to have a color. It wants to have zero, zero, zeros. Oh, is it not going to let me? There it goes, yeah. Thank you. Okay. So, I think this is a long enough video. I'm sorry about how long the video is, but I, really, I, I wanted to be very, very thorough. Um, I'm also going to put this video out to see if anybody can help me. All right.